Said I pull up in the back with the Mac 10 strapped in my back with a blade in my bitch crack. Ready to thrax, take it back like an eight track stack. It's a rock, kitty cat with it. Yo, what's up with y'all, bro? Y'all probably like, why, bro? Just start the video. He, he sitting in his bed. As y'all know, if you watch the channel, if you are returning, so. Welcome to the video. We gotta start this video off with the intro, you feel me? Let me know, y'all think Lil Uzi gonna copyright me? You feel me? What's going on YouTube? Now I am here and I'm back with another banger video. And yes, look, y'all see in the title and the thumbnail, we got some more sauce for y'all, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I don't really care if y'all tired of me saying more sauce for y'all, bro, cause we giving sauce every single video. So, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want the free sauce, Every single video, you know what I'm saying? Free tips, free everything. Hit that like button and subscribe, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. As y'all see the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be telling y'all the mistakes you need to avoid as a clothing brand owner. You feel me? A lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all think, oh, it's just all ups and downs. I made the same mistakes too. I ain't even gonna lie. Everybody makes some mistakes. I'm just gonna be telling y'all that ones y'all need to avoid. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably might not be thinking that's a mistake, but it's a mistake, bro. Some of y'all not shipping orders, bro. That's a mistake, obviously. So if you're new, you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button, subscribe. Y'all don't wanna miss this video. I ain't gonna lie. Comment down below what else you guys want to see. And attention, all the editors, comment down below below on this video or dm my instagram you know what i'm saying dm my instagram if you guys want to be in the next video i'm going to be rating editors you know what i'm saying for clothing brand owners so if you edit videos comment down below or dm my instagram to be in the next video i didn't even go lie free promo for y'all so yeah i ain't gonna lie let me just know how y'all day been going bro i ain't gonna lie i feel like i ain't recording a minute but i really ain't uploading like two days i'm gonna try to upload every day this week again if i don't blame the editor blame simply i ain't even gonna lie so hey, i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna do too much talking let's get straight into this video and i ain't gonna lie for the people that's been waiting for the statement shorts today is the first day i get the samples bro so everybody that's been waiting yo when you gonna drop the shirts when you gonna drop the shirts the shirts is coming today they are being shipped off to ups bro ups be going slow bro i ain't gonna lie ups sucks my bulk is coming today i'm gonna be packing some orders too as well y'all might see that in the video y'all might not but i ain't even gonna lie my shirts is here so i'm gonna show y'all my shirts i'm trying to see if they good quality or not because as y'all know i never dropped shirts before i don't even know what's gonna happen y'all really hope they ain't suck bro i ain't gonna lie bro because i ain't really trying to find a new manufacturer okay. but yeah let's get straight into this video i ain't trying to do no more talking and let's get it yo what's up with y'all you feel me bro the lighting in my room is literally so bad the lighting just sucks bro i need a cop with the little bulbs hold on let me just let me just get up get getting you know what i'm saying hold on, hold on give me a second bro yeah yeah feel me we got the love Statement shorts on the bottom, bruh. Cop, bruh. Go cop. Know what I'm saying? Statement shorts on the bottom. I don't even know if y'all can see that. So, statement shorts coming on the way. We do got them on right now. I got some more colors for y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. We got all of these colors dropping soon. I know y'all see it. Just look at all this, bruh. All these colors is dropping soon. So, I've been waiting a minute. I ain't even gonna lie. Because I've been trying to perfect this drop like crazy, bro. This drop, I'm telling y'all, it's probably gonna be my best drop out yet bro the mistakes you need to avoid as a clothing brand owner if you guys haven't already go follow my instagram right here you know what i'm saying my instagram literally right here make sure you guys go follow that you know what i'm saying be tuned on the behind the scenes for the youtube and stuff because if you're a clothing brand owner i'm gonna be rating clothing brands in the future too as well so if you guys want to be in any future videos follow the instagram everything is going down on the instagram so yeah make sure you guys go yo follow the First mistake you need to avoid is your lack of marketing research. I like that was kind of some big words. So the first mistake that you need to avoid, bro, is thinking the quality does not need to be good, bro. When you first starting off, do not like go, oh, I'm just starting off, so it could be bad. You feel me? No, bro. If you starting off, it should be good. It should be good all the time, bro. No matter if it's your clothes quality, your Instagram quality got to be good. It's just your whole brand just got to be good quality, bro. Cause nobody's buying off a bad quality brand, bro. If you know what I'm saying, if you just starting off, get a manufacturer, bro. In the long run please get a manufacturer bro do not do the print and press i started my clothing brand i used to do puff print off the heat press bro and y'all know that a lot of puff sucks bro i'm telling y'all the puff sucks the quality is bad and i'm not even going live bro i did not get any sales bro like hold on let me show y'all this in a sec i'm just gonna tell y'all how this quality sucks bro literally the quality is bad i'm not saying everybody that do a heat press quality suck 
I'm just saying, personal from my experience, it sucks, bro. And yes, I was doing it right, bro. Don't comment down below. You feel me? First is these bad blanks. The blanks suck. These was the common little gilding. I ain't gonna lie. I really don't know any good blanks, bro. Gilding, it's not bad, bro. Like, come on, bro. I know y'all see that. This is not nothing at all, bro. Like, you see this, bro? This flimsy, bro. This is what I was selling, bro. This, the design is crazy, but it's just the puff, bro. Y'all see that? It's cracking. Don't do this, bro. I'm telling y'all, do not do this. Get a manufacturer. Save the time. Save the struggle. Get a manufacturer, bro. There's no way I actually sold this to people, bro. Making the hoodies by yourself is, like, time consuming, bro. So I wouldn't suggest it either way. Make sure your quality good. Get a manufacturer, bro. The quality you should be making and everything should be good, bro. Your manufacturer quality should be good. Your Instagram video should be good. Your marketing should be good. Everything quality. Quality should be up there, bro. Don't just say just because you starting out, you know what I'm saying? It could be bad. No, bro. Make sure it's good. Get a manufacturer from the jump. Because look, if you just starting as a brand and you already got good quality, bro, people is gonna mess with you, bro. Cause like if you got good quality when he down, then he gonna have the best quality when he up. You feel me? So I would just say everybody starts from somewhere, obviously, but if you can, please get just get a manufacturer. I'm telling you, it's going to help you in the long run. You can focus more on marketing. You don't have to be worried about getting blanks, about getting materials and stuff. Plus, I think manufacturer is much cheaper. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Quality sucks. Make sure you get good quality when you're starting out. That's the mistake. I I ain't avoid that mistake. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to talk about it, bro. I'm going to just head out, bro. I ain't going to lie. I have people buying it because like they like, yo, you know what I'm saying? New clothing brand. When they got the hoodie, they, they realized it was trash. They ain't never caught from me again. But it's cool, though. Hey, I leveled up. I got a manufacturer. It was all sweet, bro. So I ain't going to lie. But more of the story, get a manufacturer. Get good quality on everything. Quality is everything. Quality is everything, bro. If your quality is bad, I don't, I just don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, the second mistake is the lack of marketing research, bro. You need to do your research, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Research is key in this. I ain't gonna lie. Marketing research. That's a few things of, you know what I'm saying? Understanding your customers. Understanding what the customers is buying. Understanding the trends. And making the trends yo like, style, bro. Like, can you convert a trend into your style and then make it like good based off of your product i ain't even gonna lie are you gonna use the trend or are you gonna make a new trend you guys need to understand your customers bro i'm not even gonna cap bro understand your customers understand who you want your customers to be and i will say even if you have a clothing brand right now understand your customers bro like when i make tiktoks these people are gonna watch this and these people are gonna watch that so i make tiktoks depending on like what my target audience likes bro because i'm kind of like my target audience so like I know what will look good. I know what what I would watch and I basically like yo would I watch this and if I say no I wouldn't watch this then I just wouldn't post it like I wouldn't do it. So that's how I really just base it off of bro. You just want to find your target audience which is best for like you or what you want your target audience to be. If you want your target audience to be streetwear, if you want your target audience to be scammers they make scamming videos it's just like simple like research that like you like that might go over the head but it's really like simple bro i ain't even gonna lie you need to understand what your customers is you need to understand the trends bro once you understand the trends and how to flow in and out the trends like you feel me if the sound is trending bro do the track bro. go on a trending sound bro here's the thing don't just copy the trending video bro don't copy the trending video you want to be the trending video bro like if a trend is going and it's like cool like it's the beginning and i'm like yo this could this is gonna blow up then i'm gonna you know what i'm saying make a video to that trend but if it's like a well died out trend like the ai voices i did not do the ai voice once and i ain't gonna lie i feel like the ai voices attracted a lot of clothing brand owners too when you're marketing on tiktok do not attract clothing brand owners you want to attract customers that's what a lot of people is doing bro that, and that's what i was starting off at first you want to attract customers not clothing brand owners on tiktok bro like if you want to attract customers don't make a clothing brand owner video like don't make a video teaching clothing brands if you want customers like i never understood that i used to do the same thing but i'm just telling you bro just make videos for your customers and not the other clothing brand owners bro you want to get followers from your customers and not brand owners i ain't gonna lie i used to do that bro my tiktok i wasn't getting any sales from my tiktok because you know what i'm saying it was just clothing helping clothing brand owners clothing brand discord it was just all of that it wasn't really nothing about helping like customers and stuff it wasn't really nothing about customers or like my actual products it was just clothing brand discourse and i know i see a lot of new clothing brands do that today bro they just hop on tiktok and just post try to help clothing brand owners bro post your product 
approach the customers, bro. You need the customers, not the clothing brand owners. I'm I'm, I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all. Ever since I started making TikToks for customers, that's where the customers actually started to come in. I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, that's why you need to just learn it, bro. You need to learn marketing research, bro. You need to learn everything, bro. Because you need to know what products is trending, bro. You need to know what type of products is trending. Like, let's say if mesh shorts two years ago was trending, then you get on the mesh shorts. If now the vintage shorts, bro, the washed acid shorts, them is trending right now heavy. But I don't feel like I'm gonna drop any vintage acid wash because i don't want to hop on that i ain't gonna lie i feel like i'm not the type of person to hop on that plus i don't really want to do what everybody else doing you feel me so that's the one reason why i'm not going on that wave i'm gonna just stick to my mesh shorts because bro it's a smart thing bro i'm not gonna lie nobody's dropping mesh shorts so i'm gonna be the only mesh shorts they gonna cop Bro, I'm telling y'all, while everybody dropping acid shorts, they gonna be like, yo, I need some mesh shorts. Nobody gonna have the mesh shorts. They gonna come over the state, man. Bro, I'm telling you. Everybody was like, yo, why you dropping mesh shorts? You know what I'm saying? The other clothing brand owners like, yo, he's crazy. He dropping mesh shorts. You know what I'm saying? The vintage shorts is on the wave. Nah, bro. They gonna, they gonna be like, yo, where the mesh shorts at? They gonna see everybody on TikTok. Vintage, vintage, vintage shorts, vintage shorts. Nobody gonna, people still wear mesh shorts, bro. I'm telling y'all, they still be on the mesh shorts heavy, bro. So... I'm just saying, bro. They got from the crowd. You don't want to be the crowd. But that was hard. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That, that was kind of hard. So I ain't gonna lie. That's just for the marketing, bro. Learn your marketing. Do your research. I ain't gonna lie. You don't want to go in this blind like I did. The third mistake you need to avoid is poor branding, bro. Poor branding. Meaning your identity, your styles. Like how you basically come off from yourself to your clothing brand. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When starting a clothing brand, make sure you have like a set like lifestyle and like set people you wanna reach, bro. Like if you're making streetwear, get a streetwear style, bro. Like make your own streetwear style, your own style videos, your own style content, like literally everything with your clothing brand. I found my personal style that I like to use like with my posts. As y'all can see like on Instagram, you feel me? Y'all see this, I post a lot, I ain't even gonna lie. I need to drop again, bro. I have this whole thing planned out my shorts planned out. I have my short drop planned out. I ain't even gonna lie. Planned out like crazy. As y'all see these like type of videos, bro. Like as y'all can see, like I like y'all can see like the, the type of style y'all see. You feel me? So if they see like any video like this, then they know it's me. Everybody that like if you if I make a video like this, they gonna know, yo, that statement, bro. They gonna know, bro. And then they're gonna go to the website and then they're gonna cop. You wanna make your own style, you wanna make yo, that oh I see that, oh that must mean him. That that must be him, bro. I'm telling you. So, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Just, like, make sure you have your own style, bro. You wanna put your whole brand put together. Like, you wanna have it everything neat or every, like, your Instagram. Your Instagram should not be looking messy. Why is your Instagram looking like your main account, bro? Like, make your Instagram, like, nice and sweet, bro. Make your Instagram nice, sweet, clean. Like, as y'all see, I got, you know what I'm saying, the customers right here. Make sure you guys got the customers on the Instagram. I ain't gonna lie. Just the more of the story don't like have your identity bad bro you need to have a good identity bro because i ain't gonna lie y'all know this instagram like it look clean it's just clean bro it's nice and clean it's not too much going on it's not too little you know what i'm saying you got the customers right here you got the boxes right here and it's just everything that the customer needs is right there clean up your instagram bro you you looking at this you watching this right now check your instagram right now if you're a clothing brand owner you already got your own clothing brand check your instagram right now is it like nice and neat clean you feel me like you need to find your own style just find your little like what's good for you bro you need to find out oh this looks good with my brand like yo this look good with statement yo i'm gonna do that like that's hard bro like i see some people bro like make sure you're like your brand is matching up to what you making if that makes sense bro like don't just make nothing with no meaning bro like your whole thing gotta have a meaning just make your brand look good bro more of the story bro like literally just make your brand look good and not like uh, like just make your brand look good bro make your brand look good bro. okay so for the fourth mistake you need to avoid is ignoring customers bro stop ignoring your customers bro respond to your customers your customership is or your family bro your customers should be treated like family because every customer bro like you gotta look at your customers like crazy bro like your customers is literally who you are bro nothing is there without your customers bro make your customers feel loved bro if your customer has a problem with their order and like you're not just starting out but you have like like everything is running smoothly like the money is coming
coming in. Bro, if your customer have a bride experience, bro, give them a refund, bro. I ain't even gonna cap, bro. Give them a refund, bro. I be giving my customers refunds. Not all my customers refunds, but like if there's a problem with their order, I would just say, you know what, here. And your first time ordering, you could get a refund. That's how it would go either way. But I'm just saying, treat your customers, give updates to your customers. Your customers should be treated like family, bro. I treat all my customers like family, I ain't gonna lie. I treat my customers like they my boys. Like I know them like one-on-one, -on -one, bro. Like, cause they my customers, bro. I really, I love, I love all... Yo, I love all my customers, bro. I'm just saying. Treat your customers with care because they're your family, bro. Without your customers, there is literally no brand without your customers, bro. Like, literally. You shouldn't be, you know what I'm saying, treating your customers bad. You shouldn't be, like, not responding to them. Like, they giving you money. They ordering off of you. And how you not gonna respond if they giving you they hard-earned money? I'm just saying. Respond to your customers. You don't gotta respond to them, like, ASAP. You feel me? Just respond to your customers, bro. Be there for your customers because your customers is you. You should love your customers host giveaways as well giveaways is good you know what i'm saying give back to your community love your cuss like I, I don't know i don't know how much to say it bro it should be like a common thing bro everybody should love their customers but some people really don't mess with they bro i know i'm not gonna say no names bro but i know a few clothing brands bro that they don't care about their customers bro i'm, I'm just hey I'm just saying, bro. I just care about them, bro. They ordering from you. If you're not going to care about your customers, there's really no point in starting a brand, bro. Because your brand is basically customers, bro. How you not going to care about people that's giving you money? Another mistake to avoid. I ain't going to lie. Customers, treat them like every customer. You want them to come back. I ain't going to lie. Because customers, bro. We have one long-term customer. Bro, I have this one customer, bro. I be sending him free stuff, bro. He literally copped from every single drop. This one customer, bro. My boy, Alvin. If you watching this, I gave him the last drop for free. But, you know what I'm saying? He he copped every single drop, bro. And it's not like he my boy. It's not like he know me. So like, oh, I'm, I'm just, he's just copping it because he my boy. He actually copping it. Customers are long term, bro. If you treat them well with good customer support, good everything, then customers are going to be long term. And long term means more money. So if you want more money, just be good to your customers. It's literally that simple, bro. It's like, it's that that's simple, bro. Another mistake you need to avoid. Clothing brand owners that you were just starting out, bro. Unrealistic pricing if you're just starting out there's no way you should be worrying about profit margins bro i'm just saying if you're starting out bro you shouldn't be charging 60 dollars, bro why are you charging 60 dollars? like you shouldn't be worried about the profit when you're just starting you should be worried about getting your brand out there getting everything bro because when you're just starting nobody's gonna cop a 60 dollar hoodie if you just starting and it's your first job nobody else copying it like feel me like you gotta be realistic bro it ain't hating it's not hating bro i'm saying Build your brand first, bro. Build your brand up. Don't worry about profit margins. You don't want to be charging a lot when you're first starting because, like, nobody knows who you are. Nobody knows your brand. They're still trying to get to learn your brand. They're trying to see if your brand is legit. They're trying to see, like, what you're about. Feel me? So nobody's going to be paying big money towards you, bro. I'm not saying, oh, go ahead, charge low or, like, $10, $20, bro. Charge cool $40, $50 for the hoodie, depending on the hoodie cost too as well. So you gotta get the profit. You gotta get the cost per item. You gotta learn like what your product actually costs. Like how much your hoodie costs to see how much profit you're gonna be making. I would just say like really think about it, bro. Think about it. Put yourself in a customer's shoes. Would you buy off a new brand that you just found on TikTok? Really think about it in your brand. And if you wouldn't buy it, bro, then change it, bro. There's no way if you personally wouldn't just do it, then don't do it at all. If you're not gonna buy it, then nobody's gonna buy it, bro. That's how I look at it. I personally wouldn't spend 60 to $70 on a hoodie on a new brand. I personally wouldn't. So I personally wouldn't, I wouldn't do that on a new brand. That's how I just think of it, bro. If you, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna get your bread, get your bread. But don't be over here charging 80 if you just starting out, bro. Make sure, you know what I'm saying? You want to consider everything. Consider how, what the quality is. You want to put the quality into the price. You want to do all of that. I ain't going to lie. Like, you don't want to be charging crazy, bro. The product quality shouldn't be like this, but your price is like this. It should be like this. You feel me? The quality should always be good no matter what. But, you know what I'm saying? The quality, the price. Quality stays high, bro. Make sure you always got the good quality. That being said, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I hope y'all learned something from this video, bro. Yo, comment down below if y'all actually be learning stuff from my video. Fortunately, though, I'm gonna have to see y'all boys tomorrow, bro. I'm gonna have to see y'all boys until I drop the next time. It is the end of the video. If you guys are new, bro, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And comment down below something you learned in this video, bro. I'm gonna be reading all the comments, bro. Comment down, know what I'm saying? How your day gun? Let me know, bro. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. 
is the end of the video. Go watch my recent videos if you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? We put entertainment and sauce together. So, for the free, every single video got free sauce. So, if you want to learn some more, literally subscribe, turn up that post notifications. Bro, I'm being consistent all summer long, bro. School is out. I'm not taking this summer for granted. But that being said, it is the end of the video. If y'all know, we got to do our signature. You feel me? So, Uh, everything that we do is untraceable. Yes. Thinking gangster, that nigga's erasable. Yes. This bitch listening to too much Beyonce. Yes. She really thinks she irreplaceable.